We're back now with the player of the game, courtesy of Sutton Bank and Zach Church. Getting it done in both aspects of the game tonight. The winning pitcher and then also delivered the big hit. Let's begin with what you did on the bump, though. Obviously, this is a big game. Let's yes, first talk about that. You come in here, you're looking for 10 wins in a row. They had won 13, so the hype and the buildup within your own locker room, what was that like? Uh, yeah, I mean, coming into it, we had a lot of respect uh, towards Clear Fork, knowing they're one of the best uh, teams in the state, especially in the area. Um, so, you know, we knew we had player A game, uh, had to lock in, and uh, that's just what we did. Seemed like you got ahead in the count a lot tonight and uh, really did a nice service for yourself to be able to win those battles against the hitters. So if you can talk about just kind of your locations and overall just how things were feeling for you out there on the mound. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, just getting some work in last night by myself. Um, just sp knowing that I need to spot up pitches because with these guys, you need like if you don't hit spots, they're going to barrel some baseballs up. So, you know, just knowing how to approach the game was just big for me and uh i, I thought i approached it pretty well and you're just a sophomore six yes, and zero now on the season yes, being sir. undefeated so just describe so far that you know this 10th grade campaign yes, and you know, what, what it's been like when you've been getting the service to be the starter yeah um i mean our whole team just worked their butts off in the weight room you know in blue building where our cages are i mean we've been going to work all winter long and it's really showing uh really excited what this team could do yeah, this Highland program, you guys have had it humming here. Yeah. I mean, since about 2002, it seems like yeah. you guys are always in district games, yep. winning league titles. So to be a part of this particular group and just kind of embodying what it means to be a part of the Fighting Scots, how much fun is it to play winning baseball? Yeah, I mean, coming up through this program, like, you know, it's like tradition is just a privilege to have. And uh, you have that pressure on you year in, year out. So, you know. Just going to work every off season, knowing that you got to carry on tradition is big. And you guys are behind in this game. 1-0, you come up to the plate, base is chucked. Take me through the at-bat and yeah. how it ended up for you. I mean, uh, Sauce had been keeping it, keeping us off balance really well all night. And uh, he'd been doubling up, going back-to-back -back on pitches. So he'd started me off with two straight curveballs, and then I was, looking, I was hunting fastball, and that's why I got So I just turned on and let it go. Just the sensation when you end up on third base, everybody's in home, yeah. people are going wild in the dugout. Yeah. Boy, that had to have been special. Yeah, it felt, it felt great seeing everybody get hyped up like that. No question about it. Well, congratulations on another win. Yes, Ten sir. straight for you guys. Yes, sir. You get clear fork, though, again tomorrow. Yep. Uh, give me some insight, beating the team back to back. You guys split last year. Right. How do you get it done this go around? Uh, I mean, we just got to stay locked in. Don't get too greedy with anything. Uh, know that they're going to come hunting for us more tomorrow than what they did today. Well, before we turn you loose, I'm going to let you get greedy with some shout-outs here. <laughs> Go ahead, look in the camera. Give as many thank yous as you want. Uh, thank you to the defense. Uh, big wig behind the plate. Uh, Coach Gray, calling pitches. Uh, shout out to all of Sparta back home. All right, Zach Church, your MVP, courtesy of Sutton Bank.